when I plant tomatoes, tomatoes are, are probably the most important plant in a vegetable garden to mulch. And the straw there is doing a number of things. One, it's, it's suppressing weeds, but more importantly, it's controlling moisture. A lot of plants like uh, watermelons, uh, cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes are really sensitive to fluctuations in moisture. And so you want to keep the soil moisture as even as possible. And uh, straw, any kind of mulch will do that. Um, it also helps keep the soil a little bit cooler in the summer. Yep. That's a problem in the spring. If you're planting your tomatoes like in mid-February, like I, I plant my first set of tomatoes in uh, mid-May, the soil is still really too cold to have mulch on it. Okay. The, the mulch will keep your soil cold. cold. Uh, so if you have a mulch garden, usually what you want to do is pull that mulch off in the spring to allow your soil to warm up. And then you can put it back on once the And then I, months I, usually uh, I, start putting, I start mulching uh, my plants in the garden in uh, June, right around June 1st, when the soil's warmed up. Okay. So when you mulch, the important thing when you mulch is you want it, you want it very, very thick. Okay. So we want to pull some of this over here and get a thicker layer. Okay. In order for a mulch, like, in order for mulch to work as a weed suppression, it needs to block the light. So that's why you need a really thick layer, and it's going to compress pretty quickly. It's going to go from four inches down to two inches. All this? All the, all this. So wow. um, we want to we want to do a nice thick layer of mulch. Okay. 